iProjection software is the free software solution from Epson that allows users to wirelessly display from a PC, Mac computer, iOS, Chromebook, and Android device to their Epson projector. iProjection includes built-in moderator feature that allows up to 50 users at a time to connect to a projector and display content from as many as four devices simultaneously. The moderator feature also allows users to push out content being displayed from the projector to other connected devices. For PC and Mac, the iProjection software can be downloaded from the support pages for your particular Epson projector model found on Epson.com. For iOS, Chrome, and Android devices, there are the iProjection apps which can be found on the Apple App Store or Google Play Store. In order to use iProjection, you will need a network connection between your devices and the projector. Your projector can be connected to the network through a LAN cable running from the projector to the router, or you can connect the projector wirelessly to your router, so long as your model supports Wi-Fi. Once the projector is on the network, you would then connect the device you wish to display from to the same network. This will allow you to access and display content stored locally on your device or display web-based content accessed through the internet. If you're using a Chromebook, which is a web-based device, this is definitely the setup you would use, as it will allow you to access your content while connected wirelessly to the projector. If your projector is not networked, you can still wirelessly display local content from your device by creating a peer-to-peer -peer connection between your device and the projector. In order to do so, you'll need a projector that supports a wireless connection. Many Epson models come equipped with built-in Wi-Fi. In this case, you're good to go. If your model does not include Wi-Fi, in most cases you can purchase an Epson wireless network adapter that plugs into the Wi-Fi port on the projector. Once you have determined what type of connection you will use, you can refer to the user's guide for your Epson projector, which will explain step-by-step -step how to set up a network or peer-to-peer -peer connection. So that covers all you need to get started with Epson Eye Projection. Once you have everything set up, I invite you to view the other videos in this series which will explain how to use Eye Projection from a PC and Macintosh computer, a Chromebook or Android device, or iOS devices.